As subscribers to this channel know, my review for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 dropped just a few days back, and I really, really like this device. I think it's absolutely fantastic, but there's one issue that I did not cover in that video that I'm kind of familiar with as someone who was a Z Fold 2 owner. This is something that hasn't really changed, and that's what I'm going to cover here in this video. So, this device, like I said, it's been out for a little while now, and while it has seen at least an update, maybe two if I'm not mistaken, but what it has not seen is an update to the actual security patch level. You can see here on my device, which is fully updated, we are sitting on patch level July the 1st. And yes, for me, that is a bit of a problem because that puts us July, August, September. We are now two months behind. This is not an issue that is exclusive to the Z Fold or even exclusive to Samsung. Google with their own Pixel devices have allowed their hardware to go several months behind in terms of their patch levels. But for me, this is an irritant and this is a problem. This is a device, it's $1,800. It should never be behind on the security patches. Samsung should be supporting this thing as though it's an $1,800 device. I do not pay $1,800 to watch the thing get passed up by cheaper brands and by other devices. A device, for instance, that people give crap to all the time is the Surface Duo 2. Yet, the Surface Duo 2, a device that not only do people criticize all the time, but a device that I hear all the time that Microsoft has abandoned, that Microsoft isn't supporting, yet it is consistently one of the first devices to be updated, and it is always current on its security patch. We are on the uh, September security update. We got our patch on September the 9th. That's been, you know, eight, nine days ago at this point. So that is pretty good, and that's what I expect when I spend, again, $1,800 on a device. I expect the security patches to be current and to be kept up with and not to be several months behind. There were times with my Z Fold 2 that I was several months behind on these security updates. Now, you may be saying to yourself, no, Shane, the device is not, you know, super buggy. There's not a ton of things to fix, so they're not pushing updates out super fast. Well, there's two things to say to that. One, security patches are released by Google every month. And if you have an $1,800 device, a flagship device, you should be pushing these updates out every month to make sure that this device is safe and secure. That's the purpose of security updates. So whatever bugs Z Fold 4 has, I don't care. I don't care anything about that. This is about security updates. But on the flip side of things, it does have bugs. There are bugs on the Z Fold 4, right? The taskbar has a tendency to just disappear on me sometimes. Or not fully disappear, but I'll have like the recent apps, but them actual like list of six or whatever it is, apps at the bottom will just be blank. That's a bug that can be fixed. I've read about people having issues with 5G not activating. Like you can Google Z Fold 4 bugs. And while there are, you know, so many that it's like, oh, this device is unusable or broken. It's not quite to that point at all. There are definitely bugs on Z Fold 4. And yet here we are. We are behind. We are not getting the updates that I would like to be seeing. And the updates that, to be quite honest with you, I'm used to getting on my Surface Duo 2. I'm used to every single month about the same time getting that new security update and a lot of the time getting at least some little bug fixes a lot of the times they're kind of uh, vague in what they mean by bug fixes but if i jump over here to surface duo 2's uh, patch log this is the original duo actually you're looking at september 20th that's when it came out or september 2020 that is when it came out and look, September, October, November, you can go through yourself. We hardly ever missed a single month going all the way through September of this year. Surface Duo 2, same thing, came out in October, November, December. And again, we're not missing. It's every single month we're at least getting a security patch, some stability improvements, some bug fixes every single month. I expect the same thing from Samsung. We hear all the time about how great Samsung is and about how great their software is. And it is really good. But, you know, they tell us we're going to get, what, five years of updates on the Z Fold 4. I think I have this pulled up here. Samsung has promised to support the Flip 4 and Fold 4 with the four major OS updates and five years of security updates. Five years of security updates, but what, we're going to be three or four months behind, two, three months behind at any given moment? Well, I don't really care about the five years for a couple of reasons. One, 
Who's using the same phone for five years? And in particular, a folding phone. Is that screen gonna last you five years? And on top of that, if it's not, let's say it's gonna last you two or three years, how often are you going to be behind? This is nothing more than lip service at that point. Hey, we've got you for five years, but not, not actually up to date for five years. You're gonna be several months behind for five years. And again, I don't want it to sound like I'm just, you know, banging on Samsung because Google is guilty of this as well. But this is a bigger problem. And this is something that Microsoft has actually done correctly and has actually done really, really well. And I want to see more bigger brands do this. I want to see a situation where when I spend a ton of money on a device like this, that it gets supported in a really consistent way like I'm used to on my Duo 2. If this is a you know device you're thinking about getting, maybe you have a Duo or something like that, and this is what you're used to, just know you're not going to be getting updates with that sort of consistency from these other bigger brands, even though, to be honest, you absolutely should be. Samsung needs to stop dragging their feet on this. They need to get out front and actually support their super-duper premium, super-duper expensive devices better than they have been. We've got the One UI 5.0 beta rolling out to some devices. Why isn't it rolling out to your most expensive device? Does that seem backwards or wrong to anybody else but me? Now I know that this is going to require some additional customization on that version of One UI because of what it is. But look, I'm paying you $1,800. I want all the things. I would love to see that beta extended already at, you know, with the S22 Ultra, we should be getting that beta as well. So guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.